Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Now, there has been some increased earthquake activity, but I want to keep it in perspective. I do this channel to get the uh, correct information about stuff uh, out. Yes, there's been an increase. Here we are across the Caribbean, back through Central America. It's been a slight increase, but each day there are dozens and dozens of uh, earthquakes that are felt, that are registered. There's hundreds, even thousands more that are very, very tiny around the Earth, usually each year, as far as the big ones go say over about seven in magnitude there are about 15 maybe 20 of those so earthquakes very common no doubt but we've seen a few across Central America and we've had a couple more uh, right across the Caribbean does this mean a big one is coming not necessarily sometimes smaller ones could help the uh, uh, things kind of settle a little bit more or it's just an unknown but know that I'm watching it for you uh, anytime we get earthquakes sometimes you do get earthquake clusters where you get a couple in an area or more than a couple in an area uh, for a week or two where it's more active active and then uh, some uh, other time. So know that I'm on top of that for you. Now, over the last few days, we've had several that have been pushing five in magnitude. So a lot of us have felt these from Mexico, near Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, in Central America. There has been that notable uptick in some of the uh, earthquakes. Again, as far as huge ones are concerned, we haven't had that. Then we swing back here. This is one of those clusters I was talking about. So here we are in the British and US Virgin Islands. Here's Puerto Rico. We swing back toward the Dominican Republic, Haiti right over here. This is common though, and you see a lot of these are smaller, two to about three in range, a little bit of more so uh, to the north of the British and US Virgin Islands. And a few days ago, we had that 4.1 in magnitude near the Dominican Republic. So this is one of those clusters that I was talking about. We have a lot of fault lines running through here. Not all fault lines are the same. Uh, some are uh, more uh, conducive to causing bigger earthquakes, others uh, lesser uh, earthquakes, just depending on how uh, things are set up along the fault line. Now, we have had a couple of new ones around this one uh, a couple days ago, Monday morning, or really even Sunday night. This was right around midnight, 4.5 in magnitude near Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada back through Venezuela since then. I haven't been noting any additional earthquakes in this area, but I am watching over toward Trinidad carefully just to see if we get a couple more uh, in that area. And then uh, a couple of Saturdays ago, this was Saturday, February 8th. This is one of the bigger ones. This was a 7.6 in magnitude uh, near the Cayman Islands, felt in Honduras, Belize, parts of Mexico, uh, felt very widespread, felt for us in uh, Jamaica. This was 7.6 in magnitude. These are uh, one of the, uh, this is one of the more significant ones. And as I mentioned, each year you could get about 15 to 20 across the earth that are over seven in magnitude. And this wasn't too far down, so it was felt. But I mentioned the fault lines are different. This one was uh, a kind of a, a slip. So you have basically, to think of it this way, it's not exactly this way, but two big pieces of land or plates that kind of slide past each other, uh, but they didn't do anything like this up or down. Up or down may have caused a tsunami, but we did not have that case. It was more of a, sl a slide, which was better news, of course, for us in the uh, Caribbean because 7.6 is substantial, but we did not see a tsunami out of that. That's because it was more of a slide. It didn't kind of bump anything uh, up uh, for uh, lesser ways of uh, putting that. Now, we switch to the atmosphere and what's going on, and I want to show you a couple bigger storm systems or at least a much better chance of rain. The pattern is about to change, so hang with me. You see the moisture here feeding in from the Pacific, spotty showers elsewhere. Here's the big picture today. Now, we have one system rolling right through uh, the mid-Atlantic and southeast of the United States. Now, that's system number one. As we get into the upcoming weekend, even next week, we're going to see a couple more systems even more to the south that will bring us a shot of some rain across parts of the Caribbean. Look at that moisture feed coming right out of Mexico. Bigger systems again over toward uh, British Columbia and the west coast of the United States. But here's system number one, and I want to show you a couple more on the way. So let me start wide. I also want to cover the winds, the seas, and the temperature tracker. Now, this is the first system, so we'll go step by step. This is today, this afternoon. You see this uh, front right in through here, uh, moving through Florida and the Bahamas 
easterly flow in the Caribbean. There's some of that snow clipping by parts of the Mid-Atlantic, Delmarva, Virginia, and parts of North Carolina. Then this system works its way off the east coast of the United States, and we're jumping a couple days out in time. I'll zoom down into this sector in just a second. This here is by late on Friday. Look at some of this rain that starts to build here. We're going to see a couple uh, uh, kind of pulses of rain. The first one this weekend starts to work across. Now, a lot of this sitting right over water, but we'll see how much of this rain clips us by in Cuba, parts of Florida, and the Bahamas. You see right there how all of this action is more to the south. So the Bahamas, for example, northern and central Bahamas, by the time we get into Sunday, a better chance of getting some rain. Here are some bigger systems rolling into the west coast of the U.S. So that is another system that slides by. You see here, this is by Monday. Bermuda, a much better chance of rain. But on the heels of that, right behind that, you could see another area of rain. And this one even more to the south, watching over toward Belize, Guatemala, over toward parts of Mexico. And then near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, and the Bahamas again, a shot of some rain. Now this is way down the road. This is by the time we get into Tuesday. So is this going to change? I do believe it. It's going to change some. We'll see how much of this rain moves through, but you can see here by Wednesday. So we're looking a week from now, showing some sort of front or storm system from the Bahamas back through Cuba, right near Jamaica. So you can see some of us need the rain. We're trying to stock up on uh, some of the rain and some of the uh, cisterns. We're going to see a better chance of rain as we work our way into early next week. First system, or actually really second system this weekend, a little more to the north, a second one, a little bit more to the south. And we'll keep an eye on a couple systems over toward parts of the United States. So as far as rain goes with this area this weekend, we're going to keep an eye on some of these uh, colors that are popping up. Look at some of the blacks in here. Of course, this is over water, uh, but just noting some of that could be over four inches of rain or 100 millimeters of rain. So that may kind of edge its way near Cuba, uh, near Florida, and near the Bahamas. We'll see how some of this rain kind of uh, works across even New Orleans as we get back toward Louisiana, southern Louisiana. Much better chance of rain this weekend. Now here's the smaller picture to show you what's going on today. Scattered showers across parts of Central America. Hit or miss. Dominica down through uh, Trinidad. Here's that uh, first system that I'll zoom down in a second. Mid-Atlantic of the United States moving by. And then by tomorrow, a couple areas of rain. You see a little increase here. Some scattered showers near uh, Guatemala. Costa Rica, Panama, still some scattered showers. And then watching some of the rain near Guyana, Suriname, but Trinidad. We'll see some hit or miss showers passing uh, by. And then even a couple possible uh, Puerto Rico while the rain chance isn't too high. We could get a few showers. Then going out time further, this here is by Friday. And you see here some areas of rain once again. We're going to have this front that kind of drops uh, by this first one. Not a big one, but it will bring slightly cooler air even down toward parts of the Cayman Islands. Elsewhere, watching out for some of these spotty showers as we work our way into Friday. Now here's the temperature tracker. Then we'll get to the seas. Now uh, we have some cooler air northern Bahamas scraping across even parts of Mexico. This here, Canada, parts of the United States is the Arctic air. Now today, we have that first system working across over toward uh, parts of the southeast United States. That allows some of that Arctic air to move even more down to the uh, south. So by the time we get into tomorrow morning, parts of Mexico, we're going to have a cooler start. So this starts to nudge a little bit more down to the south. Now, just going out in time here uh, further to give you just an overall feel of the temperatures. Of course, it's winter, so we're still cold in many spots. But as we work our way out in time into next week, the Arctic air retreats out of the United States uh, and uh, we see it back toward uh, Canada at this point uh, with the really cold stuff. We're going to get slightly milder temperatures lifting up to the north as we work our way into next week. And of course, next week we'll be tracking some of those bigger areas of rain. Now today, gusty winds across the Caribbean, winds gusting 30, maybe 40 miles per hour, uh, so over 50 kilometers an hour. And then this here with this system that will zoom down uh, into the mid-Atlantic moving across Cross. Look at the winds coming down out of the north. So by tomorrow morning, we're going to have some cooler air, colder air, parts of Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, and some of that may stretch a little bit closer to Haiti and the Turks and Caicos. So tomorrow morning, we're going to have some colder air that's going to be in place 
temporarily. And then as we go out in time here, you still see by Friday some of that uh, colder air again Friday morning. So Thursday morning and Friday morning, some colder stuff as we get back toward uh, the Bahamas, even scraping by parts of Cuba and Haiti. Now here is today again. Here is some of that snow, parts of uh, Delmarva, uh, Virginia. You get toward uh, North Carolina right here. This system moves across, moves across Bermuda with that chance of rain. Could clip by Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard with some snow. So this here is by tomorrow and then just very close to uh, uh, Newfoundland, the Avalon Peninsula. By the time we get into Friday morning, better chance of getting some snow. This doesn't really pivot all the way up to the north, but it is going to clip some of us by with that chance of snow right along the coast in the Atlantic region of Canada. As far as the seas go with that system moving by today, see things uh, today into tomorrow uh, are going to be elevated where you see these brighter colors popping up. So things stay kind of choppy. This here is by the time we get into Friday. Very high seas, of course. Open waters of the Atlantic. By Sunday, though, just to give you a heads up, things across the Gulf and Caribbean should settle down a little bit. Atlantic waters, of course, will still be staying elevated. As far as rain totals go, better chance of rain northern Bahamas, where we could get some spots around half of an inch of rain or maybe 10 millimeters of rain here and there. We're going to see a few passing showers in Jamaica uh, over toward the Dominican Republic. Not as much in Haiti. We could get a touch more though, Guadeloupe, watching over toward uh, Dominica, uh, where we could get a couple spots the next few days that uh, with repeat showers get up to about 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. And keeping an eye on some of that rain near Trinidad and Tobago, not as much St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Grenada, but Trinidad. We're going to see some scattered showers around. We have scattered to widespread showers back through uh, Guyana and Suriname, and then scattered about through parts of Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, Guatemala, some spots around 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain, even a little uptick in some of the rain over by Mexico City. So 30 to 40 percent chance of some isolated to scattered showers for us in Jamaica. 30 to 40 percent chance, not widespread, but we could get a couple in the Cayman Islands. But you see our rain chance gets higher in Trinidad and Tobago. Tomorrow, 50 percent chance. Friday, we're looking at about a 40% chance, but we get back through Barbados, we're looking at a lower chance, a 30% chance in the next couple days. 30 to 40% chance as we work our way back through St. Lucia, very isolated in Grenada. Rain chance stays on the small side, 30% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. About a 40% chance though in Martinique. You see Martinique back through Dominica, the rain chance is a little higher, I was talking about that. Uh, back through Guadeloupe, we're holding on to a 40% chance right through the end of the week. Isolated Antigua, Barbuda, the next Next couple of days, a 30% chance, 20 to 30% chance, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, 30% chance, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Isolated showers possible, St. Martin, St. Anastasia, a 30% chance today in Puerto Rico, but we're looking at about a 40% chance by tomorrow. 20 to 30 percent chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Very isolated across much of the Bahamas, but northern Bahamas, that's where we have a slightly better chance. Turks and Caicos were mainly dry. 30, maybe 40 percent chance as we work our way back through the Dominican Republic. Haiti were mainly dry the next few days. 30 to 40 percent chance right across uh, Belize. Aruba, we're looking at about a 20 percent chance, just a 10 percent chance today. Curacao and Bonaire, rain chance 40 to 50 percent as we work our way back through Guyana and about a 40% chance in Suriname. So there are some of those uh, scattered showers around Cuba, 10 to 20% chance the next uh, couple of days, rain chance 40 to 50%, Costa Rica and Panama, 40% chance the next couple of days in Nicaragua, 30% chance today in Honduras, but building up to a 50% chance uh, by the time we get into Friday, Guatemala, El Salvador. I mentioned that rain chance is higher and it does get higher in Mexico City, a better chance of getting some of the scattered showers. And that includes the Yucatan Peninsula, Merida. Uh, back through Cancun on the flip side, rain chance will be a little higher. Northern Colombia, we're looking at about a 20% uh, chance, 20 to 30% chance in northern Venezuela. And then Bermuda, as that front moves by tomorrow, a better chance of some rain. So lots to track. Cooler nights in our northern areas, the rain building moving uh, from west to east this weekend. But another surge of rain by the time we get in next week, I'll be monitoring that and, of course, monitoring that earthquake activity. So thank you for being with me. I have a, or my kitten here that's just kind of hanging out. Hey, how are you? Had a little visitor, little visitor here, so apparently she wants to say hello. Thank you for being part of this channel, and I hope you're having a, I hope you have a really good day ahead. What are you doing?